Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today this is the first video of a new series I'm bringing to the channel which I basically made a poll in my community tab if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're not checking it out I ask a lot of questions there and basically I asked you guys uh, which kind of uh, web scraping tutorial series you guys wanted to see. The options were between uh, a web scraping tutorial series using Selenium, Selenium and Python and also a tutorial series using Puppeteer and JavaScript and the winner was Puppeteer and I believe it is exactly like one of the, one of the main reasons why I also believe it is the best option it is because actually there isn't a lot of tutorials on Puppeteer on YouTube so I was really uh, excited that Puppeteer was a winner and I'm going to teach you guys everything you should know about web scraping using JavaScript and Puppeteer. So you can see right here I have just an empty project, I open up my VS Code and I just created something called a folder called Puppeteer Web. This is where we're going to be building our project and the first thing you actually need to do is start your Node.js application. So obviously you will need Node.js installed in your machine and in order to install it I'll just come here and say npm init. If you're using yarn, you can say yarn init. And a bunch of questions appear, as always, so I'm just going to press enter for all of them. They don't matter that much, so is it okay? Yes. Okay, so now package.json appears here, and you can see that our main file should be called index.js. So basically, what that means is that we need to create a file called index.js, and this will be the file which basically all of our like all of our application runs on. So this is the main file, right? So what else do we need? Well, we also need to install Puppeteer. So Puppeteer isn't already installed. We need to write here npm install Puppeteer. And one thing that is extremely important, this isn't a small install. This is actually like big. It's not huge, but it's okay. it's pretty big because it also needs to install a proper browser so that we allow our bots to to ex like to execute all the commands that we wanted to. So it's downloading Chromium, which in my case I will download Chromium. When you install Puppeteer alone, it will install with it a browser, a web browser that will fit perfectly with it. So it depends on what a web browser it will install for you, but normally it will be Chromium, which is just a version of Chrome which you're able to do this. And if you just don't want to install any any web browsers then you can just write instead of npm install puppeteer you can write npm install puppeteer core so it would be something like puppeteer uh, puppeteer core something like that but it doesn't really matter most people will just want to have the uh, web browser installed with it so basically you can see right here we have our index.js and this is actually where our whole application will start so this is great right so how do we actually start a puppeteer application well as always we need to first const require puppeteer so I'm just gonna create a variable called puppeteer and set it equal to require the package puppeteer okay and one thing that is extremely important and you might be confused in the beginning however it will soon become clearer to you is basically that all your application, like your whole application will run asynchronously. What do I mean? Like, especially in the beginning, we'll just build a single function, which will be an asynchronous function, which a whole application will run inside of it. And the reason why it needs to be asynchronous, it's because whenever, especially when we're like, especially when we're working with a web, a web scraper, we need to wait for stuff to happen. So making it asynchronous, we can tell the application, for example, if we want the, the browser to go to youtube.com, we can tell it to, the, to then wait for the for the browser to load YouTube to then do something else. So that's why we're making everything asynchronous. And in order to do that, we're just gonna come here and as simple as possible, we're just gonna create an anonymous function. This anonymous function will be basically by writing async and passing the anonymous function here with an arrow syntax. And one thing you shouldn't forget is right here at the bottom, we should open and close curly braces, uh, not curly braces, parentheses. This is most, like most of the times people forget this and it, like it causes a lot of headaches. So basically inside of here, we have our asynchronous function, which it, again is also uh, anonymous because we didn't name it. And basically here we can write all the functionalities that come with a web scraper using Puppeteer. And the main, the, the first functionality that you guys should know is basically telling our web browser to run. So in order to do that, we can come here and say const browser. We're going to create an instance of our browser. 
and we're just going to set it equal to await and then puppeteer dot launch. So launch, as you can see right here. And one thing is important. We like, especially for the beginning, we want to be able to see the browser opening up, going to the websites we want to scrape, doing all the cool work. And in order to see that, we need to make our browser headless. And that's extremely important because if you don't set it equal to headless, you won't be able to see the changes that the web browser is doing. So is making. So inside of here to make it headless, you need to come here and say headless equals to true. So when we do that, by the way, I'm just going to save this. Oh, I also forgot you need to, especially in mind, you need to put a, a comma here, a uh, semicolon here. And now, since we have this done, we have now an instance of our browser. And if you want to check it out, let's check it out. So let's run our application. To run a Puppeteer application, you just come here to your to your terminal, and you literally just write node and the name of your file, which, which is index.js. When you press enter, you'll see that a browser should have opened. And it didn't because headless is equal to true. We need to make it equal to false. And let me run it again. Uh, sorry about that. We need to run it again. And you can see that now the Chromium opens up without us even clicking on it. We just told we, we just like told the the bot to open up the browser. And basically, what else can we do with this? Well, we can tell it to open a specific page. And to do that, we can say const page, for example, equals to await, then browser dot new page. And now with this, we can just tell it to open a new page because when it opens up the browser, it just opens up directly here. We don't even need to open a new page, but i just wanted to show you guys. So let's run this. Let me run this. And you'll see that it will open up the browser and then a new tab as you can see right here, new page means new tab, right? So let's remove this um, over here. Actually, let's not remove it. Let's just keep it here because we need to have an instance of the page. Because for example, imagine I want to send the user the, the bot to YouTube, how do we do that? Well, we can use the page variable that we just set it equal to the browser the new page, we can say, go to for example, go to. And inside of here, we can pass a URL like https slash slash youtube.com. And again, if I run this, you'll see that it will open up the browser, open up a new page and go to YouTube, as you can see right here. So you can see how the bot basically works, right? And by using the await, we're basically telling it to wait for this to finish to then move to this step. And there's a thousand different things we can do with it. I'm going to be going more in depth on, for example, grabbing stuff, uh, being able to read data that is written in the co in the website's code, and more of that in the next few videos. But the last thing I want to show you guys in this video is doing something very simple, which is just, for example, when we open a website, may it be YouTube, may it be any other website, we just want to console log the title and the URL for that website. So how do we do that? Well. As I mentioned before, we can just use several functions that already exist with Puppeteer. For example, if I want the title, I can just set it equal to await await page dot title, and there's a function called title into the page, and we'll just grab the title from the page. You can do the same thing for the URL. You can just come here and say const URL and say page dot URL. And now I have a variable representing the URL and a variable representing the title. If I want to console that out, I can just say console log and I'll just console log for now title and URL. So let's just see if that works. And also one last thing that is important, it is extremely important, especially when you're working with a with a with a web scraper, usually you like to close the browser after you finish everything. So in order to close the browser, you can just come here and say await browser dot close. Very simple very straightforward. And let's finally run our bot. I'll just clear up my terminal here. So you guys can see when the URL and title are rendered. And uh, let's see, so I'm going to run node index.js, it's going to open up the browser, go to YouTube, immediately grab all the information and close the browser. 
as you can see and the information was correctly got like you can see right here it got the title from the page which was youtube and it got the url which was youtube.com meaning it worked perfectly so that's basically it for the first video which is just an introduction i'm just gonna i showed you guys how to install it how to set it up and just a few like interesting things that you can do with it but in the next few videos i'm definitely gonna go more in depth uh, we're gonna be building really cool stuff with it we're just going to be uh using what we know using code that we like how there are abilities to navigate towards a page to just make wonderful stuff with a web scraper so yeah really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it please leave a like down below and comment what you want to see next and subscribe because i'm posting every single day and i would really appreciate it so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and i see you guys next time